Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you five different blending methods for colored pencils that you can use for drawing different objects. You can blend colored pencil in so many different ways, but I'm going to show you the most used techniques by me. You can try them all and choose what works best for you. I usually combine different techniques for a single drawing according to the nature of the object that I'm drawing. So without further ado, let's get started. I use Strathmore Bristol 300 series vellum paper for this demonstration. I have printed 5 boxes and 5 butterflies to this paper. I'll show you the technique in detail on the boxes above and I'll use the same technique to draw the butterflies below. I'm going to use the same set of colors to get an idea of what's the actual difference between these techniques. All the colors are listed below. The first method I'm going to discuss is layering. This technique is the most difficult most time consuming but gives you the best result. This technique is perfect for the areas that need a flawless gradation of colors without any hard edges. So I use this technique for drawing skin. I never use any other techniques to draw skin because I want that smooth seamless blending for the skin. For this technique I use very light pressure and several thin layers to gradually build the color up. I am going to draw in this box using three different colors a dark color, a medium color, and a light color. For this technique, you have to go from the lightest color to the darkest color. As you can see, I put several thin layers of the lightest color first. You can increase the pressure slightly in some areas where you want a thick lay down. But never use a heavy pressure at any stage. Just a small increase in pressure is enough. Here, I have concentrated the color more on upper part because this color is going to be the main color of that area. Now I am using the next darker color with several thin layers. I am varying the pressure so as to get a gradation of color. Make it lighter towards the lighter color. But never completely cover the lightest color you already put down. And you can see that I am correcting some imperfections in between by using thin layers. After adding sufficient layers with the second color, I am moving on to the darkest color. Just like I did before, I am starting from the bottom towards the top. Along with that, I am varying the pressure to get a thinner layer towards the top. So that finishes the basic layering. At this stage, you can still see the white of the paper showing through. You should do layering up to this stage for doing all other techniques except the second technique I am going to discuss next. So the difference between the other techniques and this layering is that you should layer again and again until the white of the paper disappears. This gives you the smoothest result but that's why it is also the most time consuming. So you have to repeat this layering process back and forth until the paper is not showing through. Now that you have seen the process in real time, I'll speed up the pr remaining process and you can see the butterfly I did with the exact same technique. Like I said before, layering is suitable for skin or whatever object that needs perfect seamless blending. Now coming to the second method, I call this burnishing because you have to apply the pencils heavily from the very beginning so that the paper is not showing through at any stage. This has some advantages over previous layering technique. This looks much more vibrant and has a better contrast than layering technique. But there are several drawbacks as well. 
The end results are not as smooth as the layering technique and you should have a collection of wide variety of colors to start with. And you cannot blend colors of different color group with ease. But in layering method, you can use different color groups and get a smooth, smooth gradation of colors because of intermixing of colors. So in this method, you have to heavily apply the colors where they are most predominant. Here, I am only using three colors, but if you are going to draw an area with wide color range, you have to use a lot more colors to match the corresponding area. After you apply the colors, you will have a sharp edge between the adjacent colors. So next thing you have to do is to blend these two adjacent colors till that sharp edge becomes smooth. For that, you can use both the colors back and forth and blend the colors on the paper itself. This technique can be easily done if you are using a wax based pencil like Prismacolor or Derwent Color Soft. Whereas the layering technique is more suitable for oil based pencils like Faber Castell Polychromos. This technique is much less time consuming than the previous technique. I took around 25 minutes to do the first square and first butterfly but I finished this box and butterfly within 15 minutes. This technique is suitable for areas with solid color or shiny objects like colorful plastic and shiny fruits. I don't usually use this technique for my drawings. But I usually start with the layering and finish it with burnishing on drawing fruits and shiny objects. The next technique I am going to discuss is blending with blender pencil. Like I said before, you have to draw a color gradation with the same technique I showed you in the layering method before applying the blender pencil. The only difference is that you don't waste time by layering over and over until the paper becomes saturated. You just have to put down a basic color gradation with sufficient layers. Then all you have to do is to apply the blender pencil heavily. This flattens the tooth of the paper and color spreads evenly across the paper surface. So this saves a lot of time by not having to repeat the layering process again and again. But this technique also has some drawbacks. Blender pencils desaturate the darker colors by dragging the strong pigments across the paper. So this gives a low contrast result. And blender pencils tend to lower the vibrancy of some colors by taking away the pigment. 
So this makes blender pencil a useful tool for blending light skin tones where we don't want strong hues. But I always prefer layering method for drawing skin tones. So that makes a blender pencil nearly useless for me. But I still use them for making colors a bit lighter. All I have to do is to apply a thin layer of color and apply the blender pencil over it. This way I can make a slightly lighter color if I want to. And you should remember that before using blender pencil you must put down a basic color gradation. Many beginners make the mistake of not applying the pencils properly before applying colorless blender. You cannot make a seamless color gradation with the blender pencils alone. So if you are starting with a blotchy layering of colors then the end result is also going to be blotchy no matter how much you use the blender pencils. Now coming to the technique number 4, blending using a solvent. You can use solvents like odorless mineral spirit or turpentines. They readily dissolve the pencils and covers the paper easily. And they dry fast without leaving any residues. But I am using baby oil for this demonstration because I have a bit more control with baby oil. Baby oil is also a mineral oil and dries fast without leaving any residues but they don't dissolve color as fast as the other solvents do. You can try them all and decide what works best for you. And always make sure to use them in very small quantities. You don't want your brush dripping with the solvent. I usually dip a flat synthetic brush in the solvent and wipe off the excess with a paper towel before applying. So just like the previous technique, you must start with a reasonably good gradation of colors. It should not be very thin either. You can drag the brush perpendicular to the color gradation otherwise you may spread that strong colors to the lighter side. You can get a vibrant result instantly by using solvent. It is very evident when blending colors like reds and purples. It instantly gives a rich color by dissolving the pigment. And you can layer pencil easily on top of that and use the solvents again. This way you can make very vibrant results. In this demo I am only using a single layer so this is not going to be very vibrant. The drawback is that it doesn't give you a very smooth result. But you can overcome this by layering again and again up to a certain level. This technique is suitable for the areas where you need strong colors but don't need a perfect color gradation. So this is my go-to technique for drawing birds, garments and initial layers on animals before adding fur. But since this method may oversaturate the color and don't give a perfect color gradation, I never use this technique for drawing skin.
The final technique I am going to discuss is the good old method of burnishing with a white pencil. For this method also, you need a basic color gradation to start with. Then you can use the white pencil to spread the color evenly until the paper is not showing through. Almost all pencil set come with a white pencil so this method don't need any extra tool to start with. This technique works better with wax based pencils than oil based pencils and cheaper student grade pencils usually don't give a good result. In this method you only have to apply the white pencil heavily after drawing a basic gradation of colors. This gives you the least vibrant result of all. So if you want to make colors a bit less vibrant and whitish you can use this method. You can also use other light colors similarly but you will add that particular hue to final drawing. I use this technique only when I was a beginner but I sometimes use this technique to get softer colors like in a flower petal. You can also watch me doing this burnishing in my lavender rose tutorial here. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more art videos like this. You can watch drawing tutorials, art supply reviews and all that stuff on my channel and you can follow me on all social media linked below.